strong winds, they'll create eddies, they'll create circulations, much like if you were watching a river and all of a sudden you saw a little rotation spin up. There's the possibility that there was enough rotation spin up here that created these inflow notches that created the uh, tornado warning that you're seeing right now. So you're also seeing a lot of flashes here. We have a lot of lightning going on here. Here's our rotation detector. Uh, again, we're not picking up anything particularly strong as far as the signal goes. But again, because we're looking at such a densely populated area here, uh, and again, to bring you up to speed here, here's the Kennedy Expressway going into the Dan Ryan. Here's the Stevenson Expressway. Here is the Ike, and then down here is uh, 90, uh, again, the uh, Dan Ryan extending southward, just to give you an idea of the location of where this is at. This is on the nose of a very powerful storm system that has created some very gusty winds, some rain, heavy, very heavy rainfall. There's localized floodings, there's some flash flood advisories and warnings out for parts of the area. And of course, this area uh, outside of this box uh, is under a severe thunderstorm warning until 10 o'clock. So Brant Miller has been on the phone and we've been monitoring this all evening long. Uh, Brant, what are you taking, uh, what do you take a look at? Um, looking at your Pete, you pointed out the info notches there and the fact that this is racing toward the city of Chicago. You know, you, you hear these stories, ah, a tornado can never go into a city. We've seen it happen in Miami, we've seen it happen in Nashville, and uh, now let's look there, you see the live image of what we're looking at in the distance. Uh, the, the thunderstorms are moving toward the city of Chicago, we're seeing some rotation, they're on the side of caution, and keep in mind if you're in the city, You've got some of these high rises that have balconies that might have a, a barbecue, might have a, a plant, uh, a chair. Uh, you look up, you know, you get to a safe place. You don't want to be out on the street when this is happening. We're planning that steering wheel camera uh, to look in the distance to see what we're, uh, what we're about to encounter here. And uh, again, you can't see a lot of this. You see the lightning flashes, but there's a heavy rain continues, and so anything that might spin up here your feet is going to be rain wrapped. And again, uh, let's point out we have uh, an unusual situation that I can't recall when we've had a tornado warning right into the city of Chicago feet. Yeah, uh, there's our camera that's looking from the Atlas Planetarium. Look at the motion of the clouds. Look how fast they're advancing, moving off to the east. And then the storm cells, you see the lowest tower there on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, all of those cells moving very quickly toward the city of Chicago. Uh, and we'll see with this camera and as long as the, uh, the, the warning continues and then you'll see uh, the heavy rainfall and perhaps some damaging winds as this thing goes into the city. Yeah, we're looking at, uh, th again, this is our camera from Adler Planetarium that you're looking at. And one of the things, uh, again, these clouds are moving through rather quickly. They're also pretty low clouds. And right now, uh, as you can see, the camera getting a little more obscured by the rain. Here's the heavier rainfall. It is now approaching the lakefront here. So we're looking at very gusty conditions. We have our tornado warning that continues until 11 o'clock here. It's now 1044. We're looking at, again, a few inflow notches here. Rotation hasn't been particularly strong, but because we're looking at such a densely populated area, National Weather Service electing to go with uh, the tornado warning. Now, uh, as Brant mentioned, if you are, especially if you're in an apartment complex, get into the hallway, get into an area where there are no windows, ride the storm out, because it's not gonna be much longer before it makes its way out through. But certainly it has uh, created some dangerous conditions, not only with the gusty winds, but as you can see, the heavy rainfall is 